Hello and welcome to Java with Jim. I'm Jim Reese, Director of Business Development at Offit Kerman. Join here today with Matt Cooper, CEO at Cooper Brothers Productions. Matt, how you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me, Jim. That's what I like to hear. All right, so Matt, tell us about Cooper Brothers Productions. What do you guys do there? And you know what makes you different from other companies that might be in the same industry? So Cooper Brothers Production started by me and my brother who's passed now, Timothy. Uh, we started this company about 15 years ago with our first film, uh, Paused in Time, which was a documentary on Baltimore hip hop. And um, that kicked everything off for us. And then from then we did short films, some different videos and visuals and led up to 2022 when we started production on our latest documentary, a squeegee film on uh, squeegeeing, the culture of squeegeeing in Baltimore City called Understanding the Misunderstood. Um, and so that's our latest offering. That's what we're pushing now. What makes us different, um, a lot of times I feel like you have filmmakers who will tell stories that they really don't know anything about, that they may have researched or heard about word of mouth, but we are filmmakers who are telling narratives, pretty much our narratives. We're from the city, uh, we're embedded in the culture, we know these people, we are these people, so we're telling stories that we actually know about, stories that are our stories, so to speak. Yeah, I love it. And uh, I did uh, I did watch the uh, I did watch the film on the squeegees and it, it was it was awesome. It, great job. You guys did an awesome job. Um, so, Matt, when it comes to Cooper Brothers Productions, I know you got big plans, um, but what what would you say are you most proud of um, with with your with your production company? I would say thus far has been putting out the, the I squeezy documentary. Um, this was a really tough project to tackle, excuse me, because when we started production in 2022, it was, uh, it was actually the week that a motorist, there was an incident with a motorist in Baltimore where, you know, he was unfortunately shot and he wound up passing away. It was an incident between a motorist and a squeegee worker. And so we started production a couple days before that incident. And so going out, it was really hard to film. None of the, the youth that squeegee wanted to be on camera. So that was really difficult. Um, that was a hard role to, to travel. Uh, getting some of the politicians on the film was a hard role to travel. So being able to, you know, work through these learning curves and get through this entire process Fast forward to now, present day, have a film out, have a few sold out screenings. This has been my biggest accomplishment to date. Yeah, and I, I know you've had a couple of screenings that have been uh, very popular and sold out, as you said. Um, and I know you're working on the, the, the next um, next the, the next big project. So what do the next six months look like for you and, and Cooper Brothers Productions? Yeah, so the next six months for Cooper Brothers is working on, we're working on generating financing for the next step. And the next step for us is a docu-series. Um, so it's going to be a four-part docu-series, uh, getting into detail more on everything that's happened within the 30-minute feature and going into details about the dangers of squeegeeing, because really it's a public safety issue. Right, squeegeeing in Baltimore is a public safety issue. Can you still hear me, Jim? Yeah. Yeah, squeegeeing is a, it's a public safety issue, and so we're going to be delving more into that within the docu series, the history of squeegeeing, and so when we get to have four episodes, which are about forty minutes to an hour long, we'll give people more what they want and get to spread the word to a, a, a larger audience because squeegeeing is something that's native to Baltimore, but it's also it's also worldwide. You know, people tell me I was in Costa Rica and squeegee kids came up to clean my car. I was in Jamaica and see squeegee kids. Atlanta with the water boys. So um, the next six months we'll be working on a docu series and getting that out to the world. Yeah. Uh, hey, Matt, tell us more about uh, the, uh, you know, raising funds to get this docu series produced. What, what, what is it that you need? So 
each episode is going to be about thirty thousand, about twenty five to thirty thousand dollars. And within that price is editing, um, it is audio cleanup, it is color grading. It's a lot that goes into editing, you know, in when in the film industry to make it look good. And you've seen a film, Jim, so you know yep. it looks good. It's a professional level film. And so the editing cost is the biggest cost, and also within that is gonna be marketing, right? Getting the product out to the world and paying for promotion and marketing. So all together, we're looking at about a round number, about 150000 to make it, to do the project right. Got it. Got it. Um, Matt, I know you and I talked earlier, and I know you had um, challenges filming. You mentioned the timing was an interesting challenge. Um, and I think you said it, you know, early on, you were shooting video and, and and nobody wanted to be on camera so you had to put the the cameras down and get to know these kids and young adults who were doing the squeegeeing tell us a little bit about that yeah that was um so it's always before i'm a filmmaker like i said i'm, I'm a native baltimorean i'm somebody from the city that's a part of the culture an activist and somebody who truly genuinely cares about humanity and people, you know, and these kids, these young black kids specifically. Um, and I wanted to let them know that, you know, I care about them. So they would be out there, I would bring them waters, just talk to them, get to know them, build a rapport. And then we, we got to filmmaking after that, right? But getting to know the, the youth and building rapports, getting to know their families. And they realized that I was somebody that was genuine, who wanted to tell the story and do this story justice. Because, you know, a lot of the narratives before was that all squeezy kids are just like bad people, the scum of the earth. That was the narrative that was put out after the incident occurred when the motorist died. And I just wanted to humanize them, right? And not enable them, but humanize them and show a different side of the story while including all parts of the story. Got it. Appreciate that explanation. Uh, so, Matt, what do most people watching this video not know about you that you would like to share? Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a student of film. I'm kind of a film baby. My, uh, my father is a screenwriter. A lot of people don't know. Uh, my father wrote a few big movies. One of them was uh, a really big movie in 94 called Above the Rim. Um, and so a lot of people know Above the Rim. Tupac, the rapper, was in it. Uh, and so, like, me and my brother, like, a lot of kids were out, like, you know, playing games and watching cartoons. We were, like, studying The Godfather, <laughs> you wow. know, like, breaking down film and, you know, different techniques and directors and actors. And, like, we, I, I, I'm a film baby. I grew up in film. So all of it is a passion for me, you know, and this particular project, the Squeegee Project, was a passion project for me. Yeah. Well, Matt, uh, appreciate your time. Uh, we wish you the best of luck in your docu-series uh, with the Squeegee Project. I know you got lots of film to edit and to build these, uh, you know, this, these four-part four docu-series and can't wait to see that happen. So um, appreciate you spending time with us today. Hope to see you soon. Yes, sir. I, before we go, I just want to add that people, to learn more, they can log on to thesqueegeekids.com. That's thesqueegeekids.com. You can log on, you can donate, you can find more about the story, watch the trailers, watch all the clips that we have currently. Okay, thesqueegeekids.com. There you go. Um, hopefully you, we'll, we'll kick it off with this. Uh, so thanks for spending time with me and, and you take care. Yes, sir. Thank you, John. All right. Bye. Yep.